I challenged myself to bring Bach's Prelude and Fugue in A minor from this level to that level. And record the piece not on this organ, but on this organ. With only a maximum of three hours of practicing. Will I succeed? Let's find out. Right, Sibo? Right, Sibo? Of course, I'm well aware that a massive piece like this cannot be brought to its absolute best in only three hours. But this challenge is not about that. I want an answer to the question, where do I arrive when spending every second of those three hours as efficient and effective as possible? This is about the study method. No time to lose in our lives, right? In case you wonder why the organ sounds like a vacuum cleaner when I switch it on, I have to take you to the back of the organ to explain. So every organ needs wind and has a blower. Normally you isolate the sound by putting it in a kind of box, you know, but never happened here. We use some blankets. Honestly, I like the sound while practicing. It's white noise to me. It really helps me focus. But what's also true, Anya really hates it. For the rest, we have a good marriage. Really. Can you imagine otherwise being married to a crazy guy like me? In case you didn't know, but organists not only play with their hands, but also with both their feet. And in order to do that, we wear special shoes. And actually those are dance shoes. So with a very thin, so, without actually any borders at all. For obvious reasons, we don't want to play two notes at the same time, right? So, just over half an hour. So far so good, huh? but now the fugue, the fugue is, this is a piece known for its difficulty in pedal. I hope there was only two pages, there's four pages left. At the beginning of the video, I'm not compromising on the quality of my finger and the quality of my preparation. I'm a strong believer in setting deadlines and making things possible within a certain time limit, maximum three hours in this video. But <laughs> I have to admit, like one hour, 18 minutes on the clock to practice this few. There will be a challenge. When we do these challenges on the clavichord or the pianoforte, I will play, be playing on the same instrument. But the organ is much different than this one. So this adds to the challenge. And 1 hour 18 to practice the entire fugue, I have to admit, I'm not sure I will make that. <laughs> Will be really challenging. I might have 
underestimated this fugue. As Two hours 45 minutes in, it's um, more exhausting than I thought, really. Practicing for me, always start with sharpening a pencil. While slowly reading through the piece, I write in my fingerings. And when possible, I apply a fingering system that supports the interpretation, the musical construction, so to say. So I stay away as much as possible from pre-published fingerings for two reasons. I'm forced to dive deeply into the musical structure very early on, but also I give my motorical memory a real boost. Once the fingering is ready, I play slowly through the piece. It's important to not fall into the trap of playing too fast too soon. Ideally, I want to be able to read every note before I play it. I need to stay under my reading limit. Let the brain work at its maximum speed in learning notes. It's a waste of brain power in this stage to use it for emergency solutions. Those will be necessary during the performance, for sure, but not now. I will record the A minor prelude and fugue at the newly built Conscious organ in Leuven, Belgium. This instrument is an exact replica of the organ built in 1797 by Heinrich Andreas Conscious for the Holy Trinity Church in Liepaja, Latvia. This type of organ can be considered as a concept supported by no one less than J.S. Bach at the very end of his life. I'm part of this project since many years was appointed organist titular of the instrument only last year. It will not be the last time you see this magnificent instrument appear on my channel. All the more reason to subscribe to this channel right now. Do you know which stops you are going to take? Well, since this is such an intimate piece, let's just pull one stop, right? Like something like this. I thought it... Mysterious. Like I didn't think it was a mystery piece. You want you... more? I want more. Okay, let's do it the right way, on this organ. Something like this. Much, better? Yes, much better. Oh, I'm going to tune the two reed stops. This organ has seven reed stops. I'm only going to use two. So basically organs have reed stops and flu stops and the reed stops needs to be tuned a lot. Certainly for a recording. And by the way, the hearing protection, I can tell you, it's very necessary. Ready for it? 
It's uh, hot here, huh? See? It's sweating. <laughs> We don't I, want I honestly it. don't know. I feel very, very excited. <laughs> it's like doing an exam. Normally you prepare for a concert very well, obviously. What I underestimated is the fact that there, you have a motorical memory, but you have also a visual, visual memory. And that means that you can read notes. Of course, I'm not playing by heart, but you memorize patterns in notation, in, in, in notes, notes patterns. And for a piece that is complex as this one, three hours, if I could practice one hour now, which I'm not allowed to. Mm -mm. And it's true, I gave myself only 10 minutes of preparation time on this organ, compared to a pianist who plays on stage, on an instrument, on a piano that he or she doesn't know. And even there the keys size are exactly the same as the instrument he practiced on. Here's not the case, the pedal board is different, the manuals are different, so I need to adjust a little bit. And 10 minutes for a new piece is really not a lot, certainly not, with a thing of the visual memory. But hey, it's part of the challenge and we'll see how it goes, right? Six seconds. Here, check the dates. Wait, not my messages. Monday 6th of June. Yeah, and I have to say, <laughs> it's, I'm a little nervous.
quite happy. Okay. She's quite happy. So, and what did I learn from this journey, from this challenge? Was it perfect? No. Did I play mistakes? Yes. Was I happy with the result? Actually, yes. Are there things that could have been better? Well, for instance, think twice before selecting a piece that you want to play in three hours. This was really, really on the limit. Maybe a little shorter piece next time or a little bit of easier piece if the length is the same. And last but not least, I'm so happy to be able to share this with you in this way. I will certainly make a follow up to this series in the next month. That video will be linked here, but for now, I will link another challenge here you can click on my concert in the White House in Cornell University. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.